Welcome back to Enhanced Investor. Today is Tuesday, January 2nd, 2017, and we're going to do this video in two parts. Part one is going to be rentberry.com as a website as they are now, as their service, and then part two will be focusing into the ICO, which is up top here at that little learn more button. So part one, let's get started. What is Rentberry? So Rentberry, think of it not so much as like Zillow or uh, Remax, anything like that. They're a combination of all the parts of renting. So let's go into New York properties. If we go in here, very simple, you can see a whole bunch of listings. Now, that's a lot of listings. What we want as far as as a renter you're looking for the easiest way to get into a new apartment, new house, whatever. So if we click, we pull up this application, it's very streamlined, you hit apply. Now here's where Rentberry is separate from all of your other Zillow, Remax, whatever real estate agencies you have where you live. When you apply, you have something that's really cool. Let's go down to pricing. Wow, it's a long way down. Here we go. We go to pricing here, we have four tenants. At the very bottom, send applications to landlords, unlimited number of roommates. That's normal, but what's different is the credit check and background check. So when I apply for an apartment, I have to, in most cases, send the landlord in Colorado at least 60 to $80 for a credit check and background check. And that's not even if I get accepted. That's just for them to look up my information. And that's expensive as a tenant. If I'm paying $1,000, $2,000 a month, that $60 is a decent amount of my rent. It's a decent amount of money I don't want to give up. So Rentberry goes, okay, it costs $9.99 to do the entire application. That includes the credit check and the background check because they're all doing it in a big pool. I'll get into that later. Um, you can also read about it on their, their pricing, and there's a few other ways to read about it, but it's really fantastic. And then with Rentberry, once you get accepted, this is where the really cool stuff starts happening. Let's say currently you pay rent to your landlord and you give them a check or a money order every single month. Now it could take three to five days for that check to clear into your landlord's bank. It could cost a $30 fee to get a money order at a company like Western Union, and that's all adding to what you have to pay for rent. With Rentberry, it's a little bit different. You input your rent into the Rentberry application, it clears, and it goes into your landlord's account with Rentberry. So you are doing the rent through Rentberry. It's very streamlined, very easy, and the money clears very fast. Now, let's say something breaks. Let's say the stove breaks. Not that stoves break very often, but let's say your stove breaks and you need your landlord to go buy a new one or fix it. Instead of giving them a call and talking to them and trying to figure out a time and schedule and everything that works, you simply put in a maintenance request for Rentberry. You put it into your landlord, your landlord gets the notification, and they can figure out a time by using like a little drop down menu, hey are you available this time for me to come fix it? You click yes, problem solved. So it's all within the Rentberry application which is fantastic. Now let's take a look at it from the point of landlords. Because as a landlord I don't want to pay extra money to get my money and streamline it for my tenant. I don't care how streamlined it is for the tenant. I want my payment every single month on the first or the second or whatever the day is. I want things to not be broken. I want to be able to fix things when they do break. I just want it to be very simple for me. And the fees, I don't want them to be very expensive. So luckily because Rentberry is relatively new and they're very streamlined, the East sign and lease to collect rent online only costs 20 bucks a month. That's cheaper than it would cost to get a money order from Western Union or get a money order or a wire transfer from a bank. So that right there, very nice. Let's say I'd like someone to manage properties. 
I can pay $24 a month or $25 a month and have somebody manage more than three properties. So if I have, if I have let's say, five or six houses, I can pay 24 bucks a month and I can do everything streamlined in one application with every individual tenant and I can do that for 25 bucks a month. If I'm getting two grand a month in rent on five houses, that's 10 grand, $24 is very inexpensive. And now if we think back to the Zillow and Remax side of finding people to rent, not that Colorado is having a very hard time right now, it is very much a landlord's market. I can go out and post and I can get 10 to 15 applications within the end of the end of the day, which is insane. But let's say you're in a little bit slower market, you can actually promote your listing like you would on Zillow and it only costs $50 per property. So you can you can promote your listing, your house, whatever, and it will send it to the rentberry.com advertisement as well as the partner sites that RentBerry is associated with. So that doesn't mean that if you don't pay $50 per property, your listing won't show up. No, it's saying if you'd like us to promote it like a paid advertisement, then it will show up. Not if it was, let's go into New York. It, it, it will show up like this regardless, but it will show up first if you pay that $50 rental fee. So that's rentberry.com right now. Very streamlined, very simple. List your rental, pay it. Very, very simple. What we'll get into in the next video, because this video is already a little long, is the ICO, what they're planning to do in the future, which is huge. And they currently have an ICO. We'll talk about it in the next video. That should be out relatively soon as well. I highly recommend you just sneak around this website, take a look at it, Take a look at just rent bearing what they're offering now. It's very, very simple, very streamlined. And as a landlord, I like it. As a tenant, I really like it because it's streamlined and the fees are very inexpensive. So that is rent berry right now. And then in the next video, we'll get into the rent berry ICO. So, of course, if you have any questions, you can direct message me on the Enhanced Investor Discord. There's a link for that in the description below. Use our resources, use that free trial, and, uh, Check it out. I highly recommend you check it out. So without further ado, I am Aaron from the EI team, signing out, and happy trading.